Some of the first explorations into man's inside were made by Leonardo da Vinci hundreds of years ago. Nowadays, of course, the doctor uses a stethoscope. Before the stethoscope was invented, if a doctor wanted to find out what was going inside your chest, he used to put his ear on it, which is pretty rough stuff if you had a catching disease or you had a skin complaint because his ear had come up and he'd get uh, run the risk of catching the disease. Then one day a doctor noticed his boys playing in the yard on a seesaw. And one had his ear on the end of the seesaw and the other was tapping down here. He realised that the boys were listening to the sound travelling through the wood. And if you try that on a table, you'll be amazed at how well the sound travels. In fact, try this. You'll be amazed at how well the sound travels like this as well. Get a length of string, put a loop at each end, and put your fingers through those, your pointing fingers, and right in the middle, hang a coat hanger. Now, if you let a coat hanger bash against a table, it just makes this sound. Nothing much at all. Like that. Put your fingers in the ears, and you get quite a different sound, like this. And it really does sound like that, like Big Ben. It's amazing. You try it and you'll see. It's just that sound. And uh, it's, it's as deep as that because the string cuts out the high vibrations, the high-pitched sound, and just leaves you with the deep ones. Well, the doctor realised that you could listen to sound at a distance if you made it travel along things. So he made a tube. And the first one was probably that, just a tube of rolled paper. And he could put one ear there and put the other end of the tube on the patient's chest and listen to what was going on. Much safer and really more effective. And the stethoscope progressed from that to something like a trumpet. And this is one you can make that really will listen to your heart. It's a kitchen funnel stuffed in the end of a length of ordinary garden hose. And to hear your heart, lift up your jumper and put that funnel right in the middle of your chest, about there, in the middle of your rib cage. Put the hose in your ear and very faintly, if there's no background noise, you'll hear this. A double thump. And that's the sound of the valves in your heart shutting as the blood flows around your body. Well, the stethoscope progressed from that to the one that you see today, the doctor's wear. It's a hollow tube, and it splits into two for the earpieces, and of course, they go in your ears, like that. At the other end is this cold bit that's always put onto your warm tum. There's a diaphragm there, for most purposes, turn the head around, and there's an opening, which is good for listening to other things, like breathing. But if you put the diaphragm around, and listen on the chest where you put that funnel, you'll hear very loudly the sound of your own heart beating. And that's probably the most important diagnostic tool that a doctor has today, the stethoscope.